Hello and welcome to free VBA tips. Today we will have a look at Excel attendance tracker. It is used to track attendance. The key features of the tool is bulk marking of attendance, automatic header information, automatic marking attendance for the entire month and easily mark customized attendance. So we will see how this works. Here if you look at the information this is the header if I just zoom in over here and we click on the header by going to the attendance tab over here it will fill the header for April month so if I click on ok it has automatically filled the header for the month if I want to clear all the attendance I can clear all the attendance if I want to mark the attendance I can just click and mark the attendance now we will see how this particular tool works first of all you have to create a sheet and then by default it will be on the home so you have to go to attendance tab and then you have to choose the month for which you want to mark attendance for so for example I am marking attendance for the month of May so I will choose May and then click on fill header it will give me a prompt stating that you want to fill information for the month May month so it will fill the information from the start of the month to the end of the month I click on OK and now if you look over here it will fill the information from start of the month which is first of May to the last of the May which is automatically if we are choosing February say we choose February it will choose the information according to the February month great now we have to write the names so let's say this is for Deepak Karan, Aman, Aman, Aman. all right so this these are my associates or the employees for whom I want to fill the information for if you look in the tab automatically mark attendance you will see some default values over here so here I have marked P for the month of Monday sorry P for Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday and Friday and then for Saturday and Sunday is WO which is week off so let me fill the information by autofill data I click on autofill it will prompt I click on OK now if you look over here depending on the day of the week it has automatically filled the information for example current was absent on Thursday so I can choose this one and mark the attendance accordingly if I want to mark absent for this one I will I need to choose the particular cell and click on the link suppose this person Aman was absent for the entire week so I have to select the entire cell and click on absent similarly we can mark plan leave or we can mark present which is by default we can also mark week off suppose this user has a week off on these two days and this user was is present on these two days so we can do that that as well so this is kind of a customized button for uh, you know for selecting a range and then marking the attendance suppose you do not work in this way on Saturday and Sunday you always work but on Monday and Tuesday you have a week off so I'll choose Monday and Tuesday as WO week off and then for Saturday, Saturday and Sunday I will choose P and I click on autofill data if I click on this one then this will ref refill the information again and Monday and Tuesday will be marked as a week off similarly we have other tabs over here which we can utilize similarly okay great now let us understand other tabs as well right now you see that the information has a background color fill over here so this is the option for that if you do not want any color to be filled you can just uncheck this one this is enabled by default now replace existing values for example you have filled the information over here for this one present present and I want to fill data and click on ok now you see the, see the information has been filled suppose you already have the information filled over here and this is clear but you do not want to replace existing values suppose you have marked absent over here you have marked plan leave over here but you want to autofill the data for the blank values but you do not want to replace the existing values 
in that case you have to just uncheck this button over here and click on autofill it will fill only the uh, only only the cells where there is no information okay now we come to rename sheet whenever we fill a header over here suppose i fill header for december month and i click on autofill it also renames the sheet also sheet name here you see the sheet name has been renamed to the december in case i do not want that i can just uncheck rename sheet option so i hope this automation will help you to track attendance for your associates or employee in a better and efficient way if you have any questions you can ask me in comments and i will try to get back as soon as i can this is a free tool which is uh, being developed by me and you can take full advantage of that tool for any kind of customize customizations or anything like that you can contact me on fiverr on or you can also email me on deepak nindali at gmail dot dot com thank you for watching this video and for similar kind of videos you can subscribe to my channel thank you and have a nice day ahead bye bye